Hi, it's Matt from Testfully, and in this video, we are going to use Testfully for API monitoring purposes. The first thing that you need to do is to come to the test section, click on the new test, and you will see this form for uh, testing, writing a new test case. I will be using uh, the Rick and Morty API, which is available on rickandmortyapi.com. You can come to this website, it's a free API, and you can use it for testing, uh, basically, Testfully using this API. So I will come uh, to this section, I can leave the folder blank, I can say, for example, fetching a valid character profile. So, and that's, in Testfully you can have multiple steps, and uh, I will say that, for example, this will be my caption for these steps. What method is that? It is a get method, and this is my URL. Uh, if I want to set uh, basically headers, I can do. This is a get method, I can't set any payload. I can just click on save. But before that, what I want to do, come to the validation, set the response code to 200. I expect my API to respond within 10 seconds. What do I expect in the body, for example? I want to have a ID called two and a name to be um, multi instrument. So that's the part of the API that I want to add. When you are done, just come here and click on the save button. So we will do that one and now our test is created. What I want to do quickly to run this test to see if it works. So I will come here, click on the run. Uh, I don't need to select any configuration. You can use the default configuration and just click on the run button. As you can see, the test is executed. Uh, we had one step here with a couple of validations which all of them are passing and we have access to the full response as well. So that's uh, good for now. What I want to do next to create a collection in Testfully to run your test cases. In background, you need to create a collection, which is a group of test cases. I will come to the collection section and I will say we can Morphe API. Uh, come here, select this one. That's my collection now. What I want to do in the automation section is to schedule my tests. So I will say use the default configuration and run every minute. If I want to set the starter and date, I can do that one. If I want to set time zone as well, that's okay. And uh, you can here set the basically how you want to be uh, notified as well. So I can say I don't want to be notified for now and I can just click on save. So now uh, my basically collection is created. And if I come to the automation section, which is the monitoring capabilities of Testfully, you can see that this is being created and it is starting. It takes some time. As soon as uh, Testfully uh, creates our monitoring task, it starts running us and we can see the result here. At any time, I can come back to the test section and edit my test. That's it. A quick demo of Testfully for API monitoring purposes.